Looking for something different and fun to create? Well, here's a quick pick. The funniest blue rectangle on the planet. It's Dastic. Let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial without hesitation. Be sure to give this video a like and enjoy this collaboration. Hello viewers of all shapes and sizes. I'm Dastic and you are watching Turbo Beads. It's Turbo Beads, starring me, Dastic, and we can all agree that my awesomeness deserves the spotlight, right? Here's the list of everything you need to make the beat of Dastic. Let's start out by taking our string, matching up the ends, and making a loop on the other end of the string. Next, we'll take our keychain ring and stick the loop inside of the keychain ring. You'll take the two match ends of string, and you're going to run those through the loop. While holding the keychain ring and pulling the string through the loop, you will have created a knot. This is what your knot should look like. Now that we have two ends of string to use, it's time to start creating rows. To make a row, you'll take one end of the string and we're going to add five beads to that string. Of course, they're blue. When you get those beads on the string, you're going to take your other end of string and you're going to run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you get that string through all of those beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. This is what it should look like so far. Since this row of beads isn't staying as straight as we want it to, adding a toothpick through the row of beads should keep the row straight and reinforced. Just be sure to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. Now that we have finished the first row, it's time to continue creating additional rows by repeating the same steps, taking one end of the string and adding five beads to the string, taking your other end of string and running it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Remember, once you get your string through all of those beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. So just keep repeating these steps, follow the pattern, and continue creating additional rows. Don't forget, you can also use a toothpick in between any of the rows to ensure they stay straight. Just don't forget to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. The third and fourth row will have three blue beads and two black beads, alternating the colors with the blue on the ends. The black beads will represent the eyes. The sixth row will have two black beads as well to represent the outline of the mouth. Once you finish the sixth row, it's time to create the arms. To make an arm, you'll take one end of the string and you're going to add five black beads to that string. Once you have all five beads on that string, you'll run them to the top. Using that same end of string, you're going to run that string through these four beads, going in the direction towards the pattern. Once you get that string through all of those beads, be sure that the beads stay in position by holding them in place and pulling the string all the way through until the beads come together. This is what your arm should look like. Now, it's time to create an additional arm. Take that other end of string and add five black beads to that string, running them to the top. Using that same end of string, you'll run that string through four of these beads going in the direction towards the pattern. Remember, when you get that string through all of those beads, you'll hold those beads down in place, pull the string until the beads come together to form the second arm. This is what it should look like. Now that we've completed the arms, it's time to once again go back to using both ends of the strings to create additional rows. This part should be pretty easy, so just stick with it because we're almost finished. Mm, just stick with it. 
Get it? Because I'm dastic? Once you finish the 10th row, you'll take one end of the string and add one blue bead to that string, running that bead to the top. Now, you'll take your other end of the string and add one blue bead to that string and run that bead to the top. Now, let's take one end of the string and add three blue beads to the string. Taking our other end of the string, and we're going to run that through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. When you get your string through those three beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you reach the top. So doing this will set us up for the next stage in creating the legs of Dastic. To create a leg, you'll take one end of the string and add six black beads to that string. Once you get all of those beads on that string, that six black beads, you'll run them to the top. Using that same end of string, you're going to run it back through the bead next to the one on the end, with the string going in the direction away from the pattern. When you get the string through the bead, make sure it's in the right position, hold the bead in place, and pull the string until the beads come together, creating the foot. This is what it should look like. Now, we'll use that same end of string and run it through these remaining beads on the string, moving in the direction toward the pattern, with the string coming out of the first bead added to the string. When you get that string through all four beads, be sure to hold the beads in place, pull the string, and the foot will come to life. Now, let's take that same end of string and run it back through the two beads on the closest end of the 11th row, with the string going in the direction away from the pattern. The string will end up sticking outside of the 11th row. Be sure to watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. When you get the string to the end of the 11th row, be sure to pull it all the way through to tighten up the leg. Here is a perfect example of how it should look. And as I said before, the string should be sticking on the outside of the 11th row. Let's go ahead and create another leg with the same steps as we did before, by adding 6 beads to the string running it to the top, using that same end of string and running it back through the bead adjacent to the one on the end with the string going in the direction away from the pattern. When you get the string to the bead, remember to hold the bead in place, pull the string until the beads come together to create the foot. Using that same inner string, running it through those four remaining beads going in the direction towards the pattern. When you get that string through the beads, you'll pull that string tight until the foot comes together. Again, using the same inner string, running it back through these two beads on the end of the 11th row, with the string going in the direction away from the pattern, the string will be sticking outside of the row. Remember to pull the string all the way through. At this point, you can tie off the ends of strings sticking on the outside of the pattern to lock in all the beads in place. Be sure you tie off both ends with knots that are tied tight and secure, ensuring everything stays together. Now that both ends of string are tied off, carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your bead dastic is now complete. <laughs> hey, that looks like me. And there you have it. Another bead design made of plastic in the shape of a humorous character, Dastic. Be sure to check out his channel as well for some videos of animation and comedy. It's fantastic. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. And if you're new, consider subscribing if you want to see more bead tutorials just like this one. So I hope to see you in the next one and fulfill your creative needs. And as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beads. And subscribe to me for uh, animations.